Our own Congressman Ted Poe has made the news today by demanding that Pakistan fess up. How involved were you in the Osama bin Laden um, cover-up? Congressman Poe, thanks for being with us. Hi, Michael. Well, I must say I was delighted to hear this morning on Fox News that a congressman was demanding that before billions in aid go to Pakistan, they account for their role in hiding uh, bin Laden. And I thought, boy, I sure hope that's Congressman Ted Poe. And they flashed to your smiling face, and I said, well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> well, thank you, Michael. It's uh, uh, very straightforward legislation. Uh, it'll cut off all aid to Pakistan until the Pakistan can make their case, if they can, about their involvement with hiding out Osama bin Laden. We're talking about billions of dollars that oh, we yeah. send to them in foreign just, aid. Just three billion this year already. Now, is this is this humanitarian aid? Is this developmental aid? Is this economic assistance? What is this? Uh, what what is this uh, three billion dollars? It's all of the above. It covers everything from uh, uh, aid. Mainly, it's aid to supposedly help us in the war on terror. And, uh, but it covers uh, all of the things you mentioned and, and much more. And, and that's not the only aid Pakistan gets. They get aid in other appropriations bills, uh, such as military aid uh, included in that. So uh, it just st- it stops all aid to Pakistan until we basically find out whose side they're on, whether they're our ally or whether they're playing both sides or uh, whether they're uh, you know, not really uh, an ally at all. News emerging uh, this morning as the story unfolds that uh, bin Laden's hideout, um, they're calling it a mansion. I don't know that I'd call it a mansion. It's a well-fortified uh, compound. was a matter of a, a very short distance to their equivalent of West Point. There's a picture from a few months ago of General Petraeus inspecting their soldiers there, which means he could have been a matter of feet from bin Laden. And I think it strains credibility to say that they wouldn't have known this when the thing is eight times larger than neighboring properties. Well, no question about it. Either their military and their intelligence service is totally incompetent, or they did know about it, and they just didn't tell us about it. And now it's not like he uh, was, was there in this compound for two or three weeks or two or three months. He may have been there up to five years, because that's when this compound was built, it looks like, to me, it was built for someone just like Osama bin Laden, where he would have a palace to hide while his operatives uh, committed crimes against the United States. You are taking the high road, Congressman Ted Poe, in asking the questions and demanding answers. But let me ask you to do something. Let me ask you to speculate. Is it your suspicion that Pakistan's leader was aware or their top security force leaders, as has been suggested? Do you think this was widely known? I mean, because there couldn't have been too many people to know and still keep it quiet. I suspect that people in in charge of security uh, and or the military and probably uh, uh, some officials in the highest parts of government knew. That's my suspicion. But uh, to me, somebody knew who should have told us about it that was in a position to uh, uh, let us uh, have that information. And uh, I don't know how widespread the the knowledge was about where he was for all these many months. Uh, But certainly to me, it's total incompetence on their part, or they knew about it, and they just didn't tell us. Congressman Ted Poe has proposed a bill. Uh, Is this a bill or a resolution? It's a bill. Okay, has proposed a bill. This would be an appropriations rider? Procedurally, what is this? It's a bill to immediately... uh, prohibit funding to Pakistan from the United States of any type of funding until they then make their case, if they can, on what they knew about uh, Osama bin Laden, his whereabouts. And if they didn't know about it, you know, we can consider that. If they did know about it, uh, uh, they don't get any more foreign aid. Is an appropriation like this made on an annual basis, one lump sum, and is now the time when that check would be re- what What's the timeline for this? Appropriations in foreign aid happen every year. Then there are standalone bills that appropriate money to foreign countries like Pakistan if it seems deems necessary for some other reason, like military aid or humanitarian aid. Mm-hmm. But generally, all foreign aid bill, uh, all foreign aid countries get appropriations in one bill, 
and that's so this will prohibit that uh, foreign aid going to Pakistan. We have yet to have voted on foreign aid for this year. Congressman Ted Poe is our guest. You, what you would like, what the bill sets out for, and what you would like is them to do what? Because obviously uh, their leadership could say, uh, okay, we'll investigate it, and we never get a response, and they keep getting their check. What, what, are, what would you exactly like to see from them formally? Well, the bill prohibits immediate, immediately prohibits any funding right now. Then, to get funding, Pakistan must let us know convincingly that uh, what they knew about Osama bin Laden's whereabouts. So it, it doesn't say, let us know, we're going to keep giving you money until you get back with us. You know, that's not going to work. Uh, the bill prohibits immediate funding, and then they have to come forward if they can and show us uh, they were uh, unaware of Osama bin Laden's whereabouts all this, uh, all these many years. Congressman Ted Poe, Republican from uh, the northeastern part of Houston, big district that runs uh, all the way uh, to the far reaches of, of East Texas. Have you and other members of Congress been briefed on uh, on the procedure of capturing uh, bin Laden? Do you have a good sense of exactly what happened? Uh, I do, and we will, in fact, have another briefing uh, this afternoon. So uh, we will probably have as uh, much information as uh, as anyone on this uh, in the following to the day and in the following uh, next couple of days from different uh, agencies in our uh, government. I placed enough calls and got enough uh, uh, assurances from people that I trust uh, throughout the intelligence community that led me to believe there was, without a doubt, uh, no question that this was bin Laden um, and that we could be sure of that. Do you feel 100 percent certain as well? Sir, sure I do. I think that's the reason uh, the, the SEALs went in as opposed to just dropping a bomb on the compound. Uh, we would never have evidence that he was there uh, or not there if a bomb was dropped. Uh, so the SEALs had to go in and find the target, so to speak, and make sure that was Osama bin Laden and that he was taken out. That's my opinion on why they we use this type of operation. And, of course, they have um, lots of documentation uh, not just the photographs, but uh, those seals, uh, some of them have on their helmets video cameras. So there, there's ample evidence. I'm convinced it's Osama bin Laden. Congressman Ted Poe, can you hold with us for just a moment? Sure.